this video I will show you how to replace a damaged motor on Gerson CX-10. In my case here I got one motor damaged by wire disconnection but this guide can help you in any case if it is just a dead motor or you get damaged wire and on Gerson CX-10 it's really easy to get wire disconnected. As you can see I have this motor here faulty. Before we start I need to explain you a few things. If you move your quadcopter so power button it's on top side so you need to know that props aren't the same so in this case a top left propeller is a B propeller, top right propeller is a, a propeller and bottom left propeller is a propeller and bottom right propeller is a B propeller. When you are doing repairs it's important to know where are propellers supposed to stay. If you put a, a propeller on the wrong location the quadcopter won't be able to fly. Second important thing to know is that B and B propeller motors are spinning in clockwise direction and A and A propeller are spinning in counterclockwise direction. Basically when you are ordering a replacement motors you should know which motor is not working. There is always an option to use a different direction motor but then you need to wire it differently and motor life will be a lot shorter. Now let's continue to repair. First, you should re re remove the propellers. If this is a too complicated for you, you can always remove them in this way. So you know how they... <laughs> now I lost a track, but in this way you should know where each one of them is going. Now with cross screwdriver you have a four bolts to remove. One tip, uh, on your quadcopter you are probably, if you are first time opening, there are plastic clips here which are broken on mine because I already replaced the motor on this quadcopter a few times. You should just pop it up from upside to down really gently, each one of them, and then you can separate the two plastic parts holding a quadcopter it seems, it seems that this bolt is still holding and try to not lose the bolts because you will need them This is a quadcopter which shall removed from top side and if you turn it around you can see how it looks. Basically this is a motor with, which is causing a problem to me. Uh, when I was removing a shell I damaged a wire and now I will fix it by I, I remove the isolation here and I will uh, solder a wire to it 
I will solder a wire and then solder it to the board. And for the people who are just replacing a whole motor, what you need to know, when you're getting a replacing motor with direction of motor, it is a different color. So in this case, as you can see, if you move a quad co if you remember a beginning of the video, this is a B propeller motor. So it is a clockwise motor. So this one is also a clockwise motor. And this is a motor which I need to repair. In this case, as you can see, a clockwise motors uh, have a colored wire option. So it is a blue or the red and counterclockwise motors have a black wire and white wire. In any case, uh, you have a two option to distinguish which motor is which one, so it will be easier for the repair. And about a wiring, on the board you have a plus and a minus, positive and negative. Basically, when you're replacing motor, just solder it how it was. Don't cha change a direction because your motor will spin in different direction. You can use that if you don't have a motor you need. So let's say you have a dead clockwise motor and you have a counterclockwise motor, you can switch uh, directions of wires and it will spin inside you need, but then the motor will last a lot shorter. I'm skipping a soldering part because I assume you know to do that or just watch a, some solder soldering guide. After finished soldering, you can see how I soldered and repaired a broken wire. And then I just resoldered how it was and now we can back everything how it was. And finally get a propellers back on so we here we need a B propeller and automatically you know that this one is B also so just two A's Let's test it. Calibration. Yeah, it works great. I hope you people enjoyed watching this video. For more content like this, please subscribe and until next time, see ya!